Hey friends, today we're going to draw a unicorn. Yeah, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. All right, heads, we're first going to start by drawing our unicorn's eye, and we're going to draw it uh, over here in the top left. So we're going to draw, I'm going to draw a circle. Not too big. Yeah. And then in, then inside of the circle, we're going to draw a smaller one. And at the bottom, I'm going to draw another one also. And <laughs> then we're going to color in the big circle, but leave those little circles white. Okay, now we're going to draw the head of our horse, or the unicorn. <laughs> Same thing, right? Yeah. A little different. <laughs> okay, we're going to draw the forehead. So it's going to be a little curve, just right there, close to the eye. And then we're going to draw the nose. So the nose is going to come down. And it's going to turn into a J shape. Backwards J. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. And then we're going to start from here. And we're going to draw kind of an S line that comes up and curves around. So we're going to start right here, come up, and curve around for the cheek. Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, Hadley, let's draw her ear next. So we're going to draw an A shape. It's going to start right here. We're going to draw up and then come back down. <laughs> <laughs> sideways. It's kind of a sideways A shape. Yeah. So we'll start right there. Go up and then back down. Kind of looks like the horn, but this is going to be for the ear. Okay, now inside of the ear, let's draw a little curve. And that looks like the horn. Yeah, that's okay. All right, now we're going to draw her hair that's in front of her forehead. So we're going to draw an S line. So it's going to curve like that. Curve one way and then curve back the other way. Start right here. Yep. And then connect and then curl just a little. There you go. And then we're going to curve back into her ear. Easy peasy, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now let's draw her other ear. And it's going to be behind her hair. So we're going to draw another shape like that. It's really small. And then we're going to draw another curve for the inside of her ear. Okay, now we're going to draw a horn on our unicorn mm -hmm. so that it looks like a unicorn instead yeah. of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to draw a little A shape that starts right here underneath the ear and then back into Ooh. her hair. You're kind of running out of room. That's okay if you can try and fit it in. Perfect. And you know what? You could also add another little line right there under her hair. Oh, yeah, I like it. It looks good. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's add a little texture to our unicorn's horn. I'm going to put diagonal lines going down it. Yeah, good job. Okay, now let's draw her neck. So we're going to start right here on her ear, and we're going to draw a big, it's like a question mark line. It's going to come out like this. And then curve down. Because she's kind of tucking her head. So we're going to start right here. And we'll draw a curve that comes down right about here. Just a little below her nose. Okay. Yeah, you did it. Okay, now we're going to draw the front of her neck. And this is going to be a cool line. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to draw her chest also. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So we'll start right here, curve out, and then down right about here. Okay. Cool. I like it. Okay, now we're going to draw her hair, and we're going to draw a line that comes like this. That. So it starts curving. Yeah, and then I'm going to start another one like this. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So you start up here and then connect it to that and keep coming down. Okay, and then we're going to do another one. So connect like this, come down. It's looking really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the part that's going to come in front of her chest. So we're going to draw another curve that comes like this and curves around. like an S or a J shape. Yeah, there you go. And then we're going to draw another one right next to it. So it's kind of tricky. And come down like that. That looks like an S line, doesn't it? 
Yeah, good job, we did it. We drew her mane. Okay, now let's draw her front legs. So we're gonna draw a line that comes down for her first leg. Good, and then we're gonna draw the, the back part of her front leg. So this one's gonna start here and it's gonna come out. See how it flares at the bottom? It's further apart down here and closer at the top. So we're gonna start close and then come down. So we're gonna, that's called flare. Yeah, good job. And then at the very bottom, let's connect and make her hoof. Hoof. Her hoof. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, that's her first leg. Okay, now let's put another line right here for Okay. For a hoof, yes. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw her other leg later, but let's draw her body next. So we're going to draw a little curve right here. It's going to curve around. This is for her back and her butt. <laughs> let's start right here and then curve around like that. Okay. Yes, good. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, now we're going to draw the back of her leg. So draw a little line that comes, yes, and then we're gonna draw, come down. And this is gonna end in the same spot as the front leg, just like that. Hmm. Okay, now let's draw the front of this back leg. So we're gonna draw a curve right here. We can draw it right there to there. Yes, and then we're gonna draw the front of her leg that comes down. Good, and then let's connect the bottom for a hoof. A hoof. <laughs> and then her shoe. And then her shoe. Shoe line. <laughs> okay, we did it. We, she's got two legs. Now let's draw her belly. Okay, it looks like her unicorn's gonna fall over because she only has two legs. Yeah. So let's draw, <laughs> let's draw the back leg. We'll draw a line just like this curve. Yes, and then we're going to draw another one that comes down. Okay, and then we're going to connect the bottom. And this this leg is a little shorter than the front leg because it's further away from us. Mm -hmm. So we're going to connect over to there. And we're going to draw that other line, right? For her, her shoe. Her shoe. Or her hoof. <laughs> okay, she's got three legs. She's missing one more, right? Yeah. Okay, this one's going to be bent. So we're going to start right here. And then we're going to bend it back in. Sideways V. Star Wars V. <laughs> Star Wars V. Star Wars V. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we're going to draw the inside or the back of her leg like that. It's like she's walking. It's a tiny foot. No. <laughs> yeah, a really skinny foot. <laughs> What's our unicorn missing now? The tail. The tail. Yeah, let's draw a really pretty one. We're going to start right here. Come up, and we're gonna curve down. That's a fun line, huh? Yeah. So start there, come up, and curve down. It's a roller coaster. A roller coaster line. We're going up, going up. <laughs> 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 well, I'll remember that roller coaster line. <laughs> okay, let's draw the other side of her tail now. We're gonna start really close, but then as we come down to the bottom, we're gonna get further away. Roller coaster line. <laughs> <laughs> so start right there, go up, and then scream going down. I like how skinny your tail is right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, now we're going to draw the bottom. We're going to connect these lines. So let's draw. I'm going to draw one curve like that. And draw another one. Comes in and finish. I think we need a few more lines in the tail to make it look even cooler. So I added a lot more lines to her tail just to give it more texture and make it look more like hair. Do you want to add something else to your unicorn? Yeah. What are you going to add? Oh, eyelashes. Now she looks really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys could do the same thing. You guys can pause it right now and then add your own details. But what should we do next? Color her. Yeah, let's put our markers off to the side. And we're gonna use colored pencils, but you guys at home can use anything you want. You don't have to use colored pencils. You could use oil pastels, 
You could use markers. Mm -hmm. You could even use paint if you want. Yeah. Okay, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. I think we finished coloring our unicorns and yours turned out super pretty. Did you have fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, the gold. The gold on her shoes or hooves? Hooves. <laughs> I really like the gold on her hooves too. Yeah. <laughs> the hoof is cool. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys can pause the video right now so that you can match the same coloring or you can use your imagination and color your unicorns your own way. Yeah. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your own unicorns. Remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, to have fun. <laughs> Remember to have fun and to practice, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. You did such a good job on your unicorns. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cry. A roller coaster line. We're going up, going up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll remember that roller coaster line. <laughs>